Hey, can I talk to you for a minute? I was doing a little bit of research and I ended up finding a DC coupler for my Canon GL2 and my Canon XH-A1. I wasn't exactly sure how to connect this, this coupler to the actual camera until I started kind of um, thinking about it. And then I noticed there was some, something on the back of the door. Let's see if you guys can see that. There's something right here on the back right here that opens up and I was kind of like, I don't know, I'm getting in the way of the, I'm getting in the way of the, of the thing, let me see. So pretty much, let me show you guys. So <clears throat> right here on the back of this bad boy, I noticed that there was this little rubber piece right here that opens up. Let me go ahead and open this up. So I noticed there's this little rubber piece right here that opens up and I was like, how in the heck, how does this work? You know, <laughs> so I searched, so I searched all over the internet to see how I can get constant power to this camera without having to use a battery. And I, yeah, I came across the DC coupler. So I ordered on B and H and I just received the package in right here thanks B and H and this is the coupler right here this is the package I don't know if you can see right here bink it's a DC 920 coupler that works for the Canon GL2 the Canon XH A1 and also the larger pro cameras the XF 300 and XF 305 I'm going to get this out for you guys so you can kind of see a little bit, right? Let's put this bad boy right here. And so this is it right here. So when I saw this online, I wasn't too sure how it connected to the camera or actually to the charger. Let me show you guys. Okay, so this right here is the original Canon charging brick. So majority of the time I would just buy a bunch of different batteries and then I have two of these actually. So what I do is I'll just charge everything through these right here. Just let them charge for a few hours at a time and just make sure I had spare batteries and I never had to worry about power. But like I said, some of my batteries are kind of old now and they don't hold a very good charge. So I actually had to purchase a recently a, a brand new battery for the Canon XHA1, which the batteries also work for the GL22 as well. So GL22, <laughs> that sounds so funny. But yeah, the, these battery, the batteries work for the GL2 also. That sounds better, okay. So when online, when they show this little coupler, it looks, it was just sitting next to each other. So I was like, how in the heck does this work? And I was thinking that you were supposed to actually put this on here or something like that. And then this little thing plugs into the camera somewhere on this end. But I was like, no, that can't, that's not right. There's, there's nowhere to plug this in. So I was trying to look all over the, you know YouTube and the internet for anything to show me how to actually connect this properly without you know wasting my time and thinking you know if I purchase this then I can't even use it but you know I actually thought about it and I remember like I was telling you about this little rubber piece that I remember like oh that's where the wire goes out so then I was like okay well I'm just gonna order it so the piece didn't cost that much. It was only $19.99 with uh, $3.50 for what regular standard shipping. And it actually got here in a couple days. So I was pretty amazed how quick it, can, it got here. But anyway, let's, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up so you guys can see. So the battery pretty much pops out right here. Let me see. Let me show you guys. 
so you guys can actually see this thing. So the battery pops out right here and it just comes out. Let me see if I can get this out. Oh shoot. This big old battery. So this big boy, boom, big old battery right here. This one's a aftermarket battery. It's a DSTE. Um, it's the exact same as a BP-970G. It has a 7.4 volt with 8,000 milliamp battery. So this is brand new right here. Barely got it not too long ago. But I just wanted to make this little video real quick just to show those out there that have something similar like this that want to have continuous power for their cameras. So let me go ahead and take this off right here. And so right here, this actually goes in the camera. I wasn't sure how in the heck it would work because at, at first I was like, how in the heck is this going to work when you, you're expecting something like this, but you have something like this. But then I started thinking about the connections and everything. And um, yeah, it started to make sense to me. So that's why I, I hurry up and ordered and got here really quick. So pretty much what you're going to do is you're just going to slide it in to the bottom. Make sure that the, the little connections right here slide right underneath the grooves and it just slides right in there. Let me make sure that it's all the way in. And I think, you see how that slides right in there? And then you have that little rubber piece that allows the cord to come right out the back, Bink. And then right here, this little piece right here, plugs in right here on the, the back part of this little power brick right here, this little compact power adapter, this little guy just plugs right here on the end. Let me see if you can see that. And boop, and that's it. You plug this in to your wall socket and you're good to go. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. And that way I can show you this bad boy. <laughs> All right, here we go. So go to the side and we're gonna turn this bad boy on. Boom, look at that. And it's on. Woo! It's so sick. So now I have continuous power now. Let me go and get this up real quick. So now I'm able to get continuous power to this guy right here. As you can see, it works perfectly. Everything it sits in there nice. Let me open this back up again so you can see in the inside. So that's it. That's a power clipper. It just slides right in, in the place, locks into place. This little tab holds it in there and now you've got continuous power. So I was super pumped and uh, excited about getting something to where I don't have to worry about batteries now. So I can pretty much use this camera at home whenever I want without having to use batteries. My Sony PXWX70 has a adapter that just plugs right into the body. I don't need no power coupler or anything like this, but this was such a, a good little piece. I wish I would have known about it a long time ago. I would have probably picked it up back then too, but hey, this many years later and stuff, uh, the price of the coupler actually was pretty damn cheap. A lot cheaper than if I were to buy it brand new back when I first had gotten this camera. But yeah, so now the only thing I have to worry about now is getting some more mini DV tapes. I did find some actual lots of mini DV tapes that were used that I could probably get for a really good price. There was a lot of 40 mini DV tapes that I can get for like 20 bucks. So I think I'm gonna order those too. And um, yeah, I'm not too worried too much of recording over, you know, used tapes because tapes usually last a long time. I do still have quite a few 
brand new tapes, but if I'm going to start using this bad boy again more than I'm going to definitely have to stock up on those, but check it out. This thing is running right off of this and plugged right into, let me see, plugged right into the wall over there or to the power strip. So yeah, super, super chill. Woohoo! Dope.